Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back. Today is a special one. It's a spicy one. It's a juicy one. Today, we are playing Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy. And you guys know me, whenever I get the chance, excuse, to be able to do a video on Jack and Daxter, I will absolutely seize the moment. Unfortunately, by official means nowadays, uh, you know, the Jack and Daxter scene is dead. Naughty Dog have long moved on. Uncharted, The Last of Us, but you guys should know that last year, a group of people in the Jack and Daxter community band together to try understand the coding language of the games. Now, this isn't your normal, typical C++ type era of coding. It is its very own unique, specific language. And it has taken people a very long time in order to actually understand it, to reverse engineer it, to a point where now we have a PC port which is actually the most definitive way to play the game. I did a video on this last year. I'll leave that in the uh, description down below if you guys want to know more information about that. Uh, and on top of that, that now means that we can have stuff like completely custom content, which means for the first time in an extremely long time, we are now on that cusp, or at least beginning to start seeing custom Jack and Daxter content. In today's video, guys, we are going to be taking a look at the very first custom level for the Precursor Legacy. I am absolutely so excited. I've seen a teeny weeny bit of what is known as the Crystal Caves. Now, this is currently still a work in progress. It is being developed by a guy known as Katar. So, shout out to Katar uh, for your hard work. Like, this is absolutely insane. I'm like, Bowman, dude, I just cannot even believe that this is like a real f***ing thing. <laughs> like, it's been years since we've had anything new towards Jack and Dax, so like, this really is quite exciting. But basically, this is a project that is still being worked on. It is known as the Forbidden Lands, so I am assuming that it's going to be like a multitude of levels. But the level that we do have here today, for the most part, is fleshed out. However, is still being worked on in regards to stuff like the water in the level that is still uh, apparently something that they're trying to figure out for the meantime it's just placeholder water stuff like being able to have enemy spawns and all that kind of thing still being figured out but this gives us a really good idea as to hopefully what we're going to start uh, to see when it comes to custom Jack and Daxter content. Now, there is a handful of mods out there currently for Precursor Legacy. Right now, this is the only Jack game that is currently available via Open Gold. Jack 2 and 3 are currently being worked on. Uh, but the other mods aren't really so much custom content. It's really more so... Uh, designed for things like randomizers or challenge runs, but I definitely will be doing some feature videos on those later on down the track as well as streams and all that kind of good stuff. Without further ado though, let's just jump straight into this. I am absolutely ecstatic. So the way that we access uh, this level is we're on Geyser Rock right here. This is a new game, new save, and you want to make your way to the portal right here. Warp gate, and you'll notice that there are three question marks. So instead of going to Samus's hut, we're going to jump straight in to the three question marks and bada bing, bada boom, baby. Look at this fresh content village, not Sandover village, fresh content village, man. Like it's it's actually insane. So I've seen this little entrance portion right here. Oh my god. Am I dreaming? Like, literally, am I dreaming? Hold on, dude. Let, let's get a bit of view of this. Let's get a bit of view of this. So, like, it's not just, oh, yeah, uh, has, like, some squares and circles to run on. Or, like, an imported map. No, this is a completely custom level, but custom level to the point of, this is almost like DLC for the Precursor Legacy. It's as if we're living in the era where Naughty Dog are still developing for this game. I mean, one can dream, right? That would be absolutely f***ing amazing. Uh, but now it's all left up to the community. And honestly, if we're going to start seeing custom levels and stuff like this from the community, I don't even mind. It seriously is as if. Like, look at this! The the green crystals? Chef kiss. The, uh, what is that? Some mutt rooms? We got some dark eco-esque kind of fumey what looks like poisonous if you were to eat it that's gonna send you straight to hospital mushrooms the waterfall going down the rocks with that nice looking skybox and the sun rays coming through dude 
It looks absolutely insane. Now, also, if we go into the menu right here, you'll notice it's even got its own information in the menu. We've got Crystal Cave as well as five uh, power cells to collect, and I think there's something like 150 uh, precursor orbs to collect in the level as well. We've also got Scout Flies set up. Absolutely beautiful. Th this is just pure insanity, dude. Like, pure insanity. I'm fangirling. Like, I'm s sorry, um, but like, this gets me excited. This is what I'm living for. This is what I'm absolutely living for. Custom content for my 2001 video game. Like, I, yes, please, feed it to me. We've got custom platforms. So, uh, just a little bit of information about this. This custom level has been worked on. Is that, what is this? Oh my god. Okay. Got some kind of neat precursor structure right there. Very cool. You can see the heat waves coming out of the vents? Is that 2001 heat waves? Oh my god. Or should I say 2023 custom heat waves for the 2001 video game? <laughs> Ooh, our first power cell. But yeah, this level's been worked on since June of last year, and currently right now, the amount of time that's gone into this is about 300 and 50 hours just to get this one level done. You can tell it's no easy task to develop something like this. But the simple fact that we are actually seeing this is just actual insanity. It's completely mind-boggling. I, I feel like I may have sniffed something on the way back home today and it's starting to take effect. I don't know, dude, because <laughs> this, this is like an actual fever dream. So yeah, you guys can see what I'm talking about when it comes to the water. Uh, the actual water from like the base game, uh, the actual water asset and stuff. Apparently they're still trying to figure out how exactly that works and how you can implement that into a custom level. So it's just pretty much placeholder water for the time being. I don't know where to go, but I want to take it all in. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, we got another power cell down there. It looks like this is kind of a dead end area, so we'll go get this power cell real quick, like. Uh, you can see right there, its texture is missing. So again, we're probably gonna come across some things that are like, okay, this is obviously clearly still a uh, whip. The old whip, I can't, I can't see. All right, a little bit of uh, platforming difficulty. I like it, I like it. Very cool. Hold on, we're just gonna back up and do a roll jump. Vit nice. Hmm. Power cell number two. So yeah, again, five power cells, four to find in the level, and uh, we've also got the scout flies as well. Bit of be blue. Okay, thank God. I'm like, don't send me down here, and like, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Custom jump pad. This is too much. <laughs> this really is too much. Because you guys know, like, I have been begging and moaning and foaming over the fact of, like, we need a new Jack and Daxter game. Like, look, if Naughty Dog, this, what is this? Butter my baguette, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This place is giving me Spider Cave uh, vibes, but, like, the vibe here, and as well as, like, the enjoyment factor, is a lot better than that of the Spider Cave. I think we're all in agreement that Spider Cave is probably the worst level in the entire game. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I've been a major advocate towards trying to get some new Jack and Daxter content. I will absolutely bust several nuts if that does happen. I think at this point, uh, I really honestly don't mind who develops uh, a Jack and Daxter game if that's what you know Sony kind of want to do. Uh, preferably Naughty Dog, but I think they're just so busy and they kind of do want to move on at this point. I think that much is sort of obvious. So like, yeah, hey, Sony, please do something with the IP, man. Like, do something with the IP. Even if it means like rebooting it or whatever, I fully don't mind. A complete clean slate that's totally fine by me. I just need some Jack and Daxter content. Um... The only thing is, like, you know, obviously, I don't even know, I think it's, is it Ready at Dawn, or is it High Impact? I think it's High Impact, yeah, High Impact. Those guys are responsible for the last, uh, Lost Frontier, and, uh, I actually haven't fully experienced Lost Frontier, I do plan on doing that on stream at some point, but we don't talk about Lost Frontier, right? They didn't do a good job whatsoever, whereas they kind of did a fine job with Size Matters, Ratchet & Clank Size Matters, I honestly didn't mind it at all. But when looking at the Lost Frontier, 
Even though I can't really speak from complete experience, I know that we don't talk about Lost Frontier. So, so long as it's not the folks at High Impact Games. <laughs> oh, it's gonna jump at him! <gasps> okay, alright, I don't know what language I s just spoke, but that's fine. Had a uh, slight Memphis meltdown, but that that's cool. We're still alive, we're still popping, we're still rolling. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, look at this. I think we came in here with 30 precursor orbs. I might be wrong, so I think once we hit 170, it will pop up, I forget. It's been a little while since I last played Precursor Legacy. In fact, I don't know if it will pop up considering it is a custom level. Everything else is here as if it is an official level, <laughs> including the fact that I'm about to not die. This is, <gasps> it's poisonous, death pit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Squidoy, Squidoy. Sorry, I, I wish I could be giving you guys like MLG Jack 1 gameplay, but uh, <laughs> I'm a tiny bit rusty, so please do bear with me. So there is other kind of like custom levels, I guess to a degree, but not to this degree um, in any sense of which there are certainly like imported maps and all that kind of thing. Uh, but what we're looking at here has yet to be done again. I do hope, though, that we get to see more of this kind of stuff. We at least know that Qatar is working on more stuff for what is the Forbidden Land. So uh, I'm definitely going to keep you guys informed as to exactly what is going on with this project because uh, I don't, I don't know. It's like activating some kind of nostalgia receptor, and I like it a lot. I, I like it a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. A lot. We'll be getting close to max precursor orbs. So yeah, it looks like it sort of just wraps around. As you guys can see, I believe that's the beginning of the level. And then we've got, okay, a little elevator thing over there. So, oh my God, but I'm just, I'm just jumping and not looking. I don't have my glasses on. That's an excuse. I don't actually need glasses, just saying. Um, it's just me being completely terrible. But if I were to take a wild guess, I'm pretty sure this right here is likely going to be used to access what would be then level two, the next portion of the Forbidden Lands. Look at that, man. It's actually crazy. Like, I really do feel like I'm playing something that was, like, honestly intended for the game. Thank you for playing uh, this alpha build on my first custom level. There's still loads to be done, but I thought it was uh, at a decent spot enough to show. For now, you can pretend this gondola uh, activates when you have collected all five power cells in the level. You can die here to go back to Geyser, by the way. So yeah, very cool. Um, once you collect all power cells in the level, this gondola will take you up to the next portion. Very exciting stuff, like to at least know that there's something like this currently being worked on uh, for Jack. It's just super exciting. And uh, also to know that like Jack 2 PC is hopefully not too far off and that we should be seeing Jack 3 PC at some stage in the future. Truly exciting. Then of course comes custom content for those games as well. Uh, you know, Jack fans are, they're finally eating. Like, we're finally eating. We've been starving for a really long time. Like, an incredibly long time. But finally. <laughs> finally. Alright, so Power Cells so far reached the middle of the cave, followed the river. We have clearly missed the third one. This one is avoid the dangerous mushrooms, and we still have the scout flies. I'm not too sure if all of the scout flies have been added just yet. We are one off, so I'm assuming we probably can get the scout fly power cell. All right, let's do another run back because I have probably missed something. Also, looking at this little precursor structure over here, uh, it's a high chance, yeah, you can actually go inside it. There it is, there's the last scout fly. And no doubt, I'm going to assume too, this is where our last lot of precursor orbs are. On top of also, there we go, 150. On top of also the uh, the power cell, so let's quickly gravity group this. Vit nice power cell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, can we? I wonder, can we? All right, we can. Beautiful. Oh, there it is. Nice. Very hidden power cell. I like that, because like, all of the power cells for the most part, like pretty much all of them in Jack 1, were just kind of like, hey, I'm right here, I'm a power cell, collect me, oh my god, my ass, it's, <laughs> it's fried, 
He's smoking! But yeah, a lot of them were kind of like very obvious, so I like this whole thought of custom levels, but with like kind of hard to figure out and hard to find and locate uh, collectibles and stuff. However, guys, that wraps up Crystal Cave, at least uh, for the time being in its current state. A massive shout out to Qatar. Dude, you have done some truly insane work here. Like, I don't know, uh, this is something that Jack and Daxter fans have been wanting for like a really long time. Uh, and to know now that it's in the hands of the community, uh, we now have the power is kind of an insane thought. But to see what this community is capable of is nothing short of mind-blowing. It's, it's sort of the similar type of thing with uh, the mod scene that I see with Kingdom Hearts. Uh, to think it's starting to happen now with Jack and Daxter, again, it feels like a fever dream. I'll leave the link to the Open Goal website in the description down below, as well as the mod launcher. It's all very straightforward stuff, no crazy hackery matrix type nonsense. It's all very easy to get Jack and Daxter running on your PC, along with mods to go along with it too. It can all be done via the mod launcher. Do be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section down below. However guys, I'm Cynical, hopefully I'm gonna fantastic day and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.